So should we head up the slope? That first part looks okay, doesn't it? And then yeah. we've got that option of a belay on that lower buttress that we saw. Right. So if we head up to there and see how we're feeling and how the snow feels and what's going on up there with other people. And then if we're happy with that, we can always carry on up to that fork in the gully that we looked at. It looked like there was some nice rock anchor potential up there. Yeah. And we can decide there about where we're going to go and which route to finally do. Cool. All right. Fab. All good? Yep. Didn't leave anything? No. All right. Thor over the last week has put people off, perhaps. Yeah, so I think that's it. Nice weather, everyone's yeah. trying to get back out track. Yeah, climbing. yeah. So there's some footprints here, which are quite nice, make it a little bit easier on the ankles, trying to get those crampons into that harder snow. Quite pleasant. Luckily they're going the way we want. So I think this is that rocky area we looked at down at the bottom. So now, kick myself a bit of a bigger ledge. You want to come in and should we have a chat about what we're going to do next? Yeah, with that drop below me, I think I'm going to make that quite a nice ledge. I can feel I can stand on comfortably. I'm not going to fall off. Make sure it's sloping in slightly if you can. Get your toes right in. Oh, okay. So I'm going to flail around with my ice axe a little bit up here try and find a belay so I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice foot ledge to do that from yeah I think this is it's going to work really well for us actually yeah uh, Joe that looks excellent so that rule number one making sure the rock is actually solid no point if it's got the best crack ever but if the thing's loose then we don't want to be attached to it and that is a concern today with these warmer conditions oh no that'll be all right okay i'm just checking the direction on that sling joe it's a bit parallel that crack but i think if we keep that pulled from the side there that'll be grand so when we've got a boulder like this, initially I'm suspicious straight away and then I'm just going to be doubly sure of everything with my testing, hitting it with my ice axe, just making sure it doesn't sound hollow. So in winter what we don't want is we don't want the rope disappearing down the slope where it might get wrapped around a little knobble of ice or a boulder or anything like that because if I'm up there 30 metres away and suddenly it jams below, Joe can't do anything about it because he tied into the belay and if I'm climbing up that means I've got to climb down. In poor weather we might not be able to communicate that, it would cause us all sorts of problems. So Joe's doing what we call lap coils here, coiling the rope nice and neatly over the front of his belay just to make sure that the rope is always next to him and it'll help solve any of those sort of problems. So I've got the top of the rope because I'm going to lead so my rope's going to come neatly off that pile that Joe's just made. So, tie myself into that. The figure of eight, do you want to do the same? Yeah, if you want to sure. tie into the bottom and then you can attach yourself directly to the belay with the rope. Again, in winter it's tricky whether you've got a harness and all your clothes on, and particularly maybe if you've got your goggles on and everything's all swirling around. So, trying to make sure you're pushing your clothes out of the way and that you are actually getting through the right parts of the harness. To, to tie yourself in and again really meticulous with your rope work once everything gets covered in snow and ice it can be hard to 
to tell what's going on. So at this stage here, I want to be super sure that I'm doing everything textbook if I can. Keeping it all nice and neat. I tend to overemphasize my knots when I'm working in gloves, makes it a bit easier to tie. There we go. Nicely dressed, same size as my belay loop. Got a, a long enough tail on there, so just deal with that so it doesn't come round and flick me in the face. Again, it's tricky doing all of this in gloves. It's just something you have to persevere with and learn. Good gloves helps. So these are really dexterous and really warm and, and pretty waterproof as well. So that's all really important, buying kit that works for you in winter. So there we go, happy with that. And then the next time I'm going to play with this will be when we're at the top. And then buddy checks as well. So Joe and I, just a quick glance at each other, make sure we're happy. Everybody's done everything right and we haven't made a mistake in all the snow. Grand, right. So do you want to clovitch directly into that? So clip it down the carabiner and turn it round so it's ready to receive the rope like a hook. And then again, you're pushing the rope in rather than trying to play with the gate all the time. Grand. And then get that really nice and tight so that that rope between the figure of eight and the clove hitch is bar tight. So there's no chance of a shock load in the belay. Yeah, a bit tricky with the laps because Joe's got the laps there, but he's managing that really well. That's grand. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. Happy with all of that? Yeah. Fab. Do you want to get rid of that cow's tail? Yeah. That, you can get, get rid of that, keep everything nice and neat so the picture around your harness is nice and clean. Um, right then. Okay, so I'm tied in, you're tied in, everything's all cool on belay. Marvellous. So looking at the line ahead, I think we've got this little narrow bit. That looks a bit more interesting, doesn't yeah. it? And we'll stay out of the way then of the guys on the other side. And then I'm going to head up to the buttress and we'll, we'll get some gear in. I'm going to try and get some gear in between now and there. We'll just do the normal climbing calls yeah. and everything could be cool. Okay. Happy with all of that? Yeah, sure. yeah, fab. Right then, off we go. Looking for the potential to put some gear in. So, ooh clean that out maybe small nuts but they'd be very small there's a really nice crack just up here joe i'm just going to see if i can get a piece of gear in there again i'm going to kick out that nice ledge because i'm going to take my hands off my axe make sure i'm stable i'm going to go for those lovely offsets oh there we go sweet that's bomber Two lovely bits of rock there, not loose at all. That nut's bedded itself in really well. Just give it a wee batter with your axe as you come past it, it should flick out. So I'm going to extend that. I don't carry any short extenders at all in winter. I've got to fight old age and gravity. I don't need to fight rope drag as well. So making sure I'm keeping that rope running smoothly all the time. There we go. Makes me feel brave as soon as I've got a bit of gear in. 